This is the Vimana Continental Directional Snowboard. It's been a White Lines 100 winner before and frankly our test team keep on coming back to it. This is simplicity, versatility and performance dialed in to perfection. We're approaching eight years since Vimana first arrived on the scene and although that still makes them somewhat of the newer kids on the block, their boards have all the appeal of timeless classics. That's why we love them, and more specifically, why we love the Continental Directional. It's Vimana's original freestyle machine, and while it's also available in a properly park-specific true twin shape, the versatility on offer in the directional version here is something that makes it a great choice for all mountain freestyle riders of an intermediate level and up. Now I'd say the key thing to know about Vimana is their less is more quality over quantity approach. Something that a few brands out there could probably take a lesson in. If you're the kind of rider who appreciates simple, clean design, packed with quality materials, pay attention. You're going to really like this one. If we just start with a shape, you'll get an idea of how it works wherever you stick it. A directional freestyle board isn't something you'll hear said too often, but that's effectively what you've got here. There's a 20 mm setback in the stance as well as a really mellow taper running through its length. You'll need to get the measuring tape out to see it, but the nose is about 10 mm wider than it is here in the tail. That's enough to create the difference in volume between here and here, so the nose will generally have an easier time staying afloat while the tail sinks down just a little, as well as making for a much smoother and more precise turning sensation back on the piste. I'd say it's subtle though, and that's because if you're used to riding in switch, you'll find it feels about as close to a true twin as they come. And then take a look at the outline of the nose and tail. It's hardly screaming directional, is it? The blunted ends are going to keep the swing weight down and not limit the overall running length of the board. While these V-tips, as for mana call them, pack out some extra volume around the blend zone, and that gives you enough buoyancy in the nose when it comes to contact with deeper snow. Perhaps most central to the clean and straightforward design of the Continental is the true camber profile. No rockers, no hybrids, no wavy side cuts, nothing else here. Just a classic traditional bend for generating the most pop and power running right through from end to end. There's also a bit of carbon tucked under the hood to give you some snap at the ends of the board, but otherwise you're looking at a sustainably sourced Norwegian poplar wood core, and that keeps the board nice and playful with a flex rating of five out of 10. For me and the rest of our test team, that felt bang on, and it makes this one a real quiver in one. It had enough stability for hitting jumps, but you can definitely work the flex through the center of the board, which leaves a lot of potential on offer for more rail and flatland styles of riding. Sure, you can go more specific with your board choice if you're wanting to focus all your time in one area of the mountain, but the Continental Directional is designed to be ridden everywhere. And you can see from the kinds of conditions that we got, that's exactly what we did. There's a real beauty in simplicity, and whether you're looking at the construction and design, or even the approach towards the graphics, Vimana have absolutely nailed it with this one. All of their boards are rider-driven, designed and tested, and that commitment to quality means that the boards on the shop floor are exactly the same as what their pro team are shredding every day. And that alone is a pretty reassuring sign of how good this thing is. Okay, that's about it for this video. If you've got any questions about this board, you know what to do. Stick them down below and we'll get back to you. And if you want to keep up to date with more of our best in test snowboards for the White Lines 100, make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Thanks again and see you next time.